What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Here's another awesome slime video that we're going to do today. We're going to make rainbow slime. So we're going to make fluffy slime that we're going to split into six pieces and then we're going to color those pieces with the colors of the rainbow. I know I only have four colors, but red, blue, and yellow are primary colors and we can make any colors with those colors. It also comes with green. So let's get started. Of course, the first thing you need is glue. I'm going to make a little bit more slime than I normally do just because we need to split it into six different pieces. Six. Okay, so just a little more than normal. Uh, a little bit more than that. Okay. But remember, we need to split this into six pieces. Because there are six colors in her rainbow. You can also do indigo and violet if if that's how you see the rainbow. But um normally I just do the rainbow with um six colors. Of course the next thing you need since we're making fluffy slime is to shake this really good because I always shake it really bad and then it never works. It's really annoying. Do you see what I mean? It never works. Whenever I shake it. There's literally so much in this bottle, you guys. It just doesn't want to shake. Come on. Shake. That'll be enough. That'll be enough. I just need just a little bit more. Okay, so since we are just going to make white slime, actually, it's probably going to be green just because of my activator. Um, there's just a little bit of slime on the spoon. That, that is okay, so now we're going to mix it up. Mixing this up is by far one of my favorite parts. because it's my favorite part because it's like whipped cream. Even though I don't like whipped cream, I like the feel of it, so that's cool. The next step is to activate your slime, but I forgot, <laughs> I don't have any activator. This is empty. Actually, there's a little bit. So I'll pour what I have in. Now this is bright green. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? No, you can. It's bright green, so it might turn into fine green. But when we color it, it really won't matter. That was such a little bit that it literally just made like one little clump on the spoon. And that is it. Let me see if I have any more. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so it is starting to come off the sides, but it is still way too, it's not sticky, it's just way too non-activated to put my hands in yet. So, I will be right back with more activator. Why am I just looking there? Okay, that was weird. I'll just be right back with some activator. Alright guys, I'm back with some more activator, so let's pour a little bit of this in. See, now it's almost activated. Maybe I should have got a bigger bowl for this one. <laughs> oh well. See, it's seriously not even making it green. This is white slime. To hold the bowl since this slime is bigger than normal and I'm using like one of the smallest bowls I have because before I was just making a little bit of slime. Okay, 
I just moved my spoon and I have something over there. So I just put my spoon on something I had over there. So it's not very sticky, but it is just a little bit sticky. So I think we're going to do literally like a drop of activator. I am using laundry detergent as my activator. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that, but oh well. <laughs> If I've already put my hands in and I need more activator, then I'll just go in and knead it in with my hands. And if your slime is getting like stringy because you use laundry detergent, that is a-okay. It always happens to me. All you do to, um, how I normally knead it is to poke it and fold it, but this is getting all over my hands because it's getting sticky. So, a little bit more activator. Once again, you can always add more activator, but you cannot take any activator away. So make sure that you're just using a little bit at a time. I um, don't like to use... Um, I don't like to use... What's it called? Contact solution? Because you have to use a ton of it, and it takes a while for the slime to get activated with it and you also need to have baking soda because it has boric acid not borax in it and the baking soda makes the boric acid work I don't know what's in laundry detergent maybe it's borax I don't really know but it activates slime and it activates it quickly so we have a big fluffy slime. I'm just going to knead this a little bit more. Make sure it is fully kneaded. Whoa, that's really cool. When I'm poking it, just because, um, I don't know. When I poke it, probably because there is, like, a shadow because there, like, was around it. It makes the inside look green, but really it's just white. That's so cool. Okay. So we have a big, like, marshmallow looking slime. So we need to break this into six pieces. So we'll try to break it into pretty even pieces. So that's one. That's two. That's three. That's four, five. I'll break this one. One, two. Nope. Nope, don't get connected. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now we have six pieces, and they're pretty similar in color. So now we're just going to go one at a time, food coloring them the colors that they need to be. I've barely used any red food coloring because I only use it to make pink slime. I'm using two drops of red instead of one drop just because... If I do one drop, I'm pretty sure that it'll make pink slime. Even though this slime is already activated, I really don't want to get food coloring on my hands. So I am using a spoon to mix. So now I'm mixing it and it is turning pink. So we'll add a little bit more of this. One, two. Normally I add it in in about two drops at a time. So now I'm gonna take my spoon. I just do this just a little bit instead of the whole time just so that I can just mix it in a little bit before I um Go in with my hands, just so that it doesn't get all over my hands. And I try to not directly touch the food coloring. Try to maybe mix it in by touching the parts that are already mixed in. So that might help you while you're making this too. It's still like a really light red, so I'll try to scoop some off the bottom of the bowl. And I think 
that is still a little bit too pink for me, so I'm just going to add one more drop of red. I don't want to waste my food coloring. Most of the time I just use this food coloring for slime since I don't really make um, frosting for cookies a lot. Alright, so this is going to be our final red color. And then we'll put this over here. Then for our orange. For our orange, we need to mix red and yellow because red and yellow mix orange. Okay, so we'll just put, oh gosh, yellow. Is this actually orange? Oh my god. This might be the color orange. No, this is the yellow. I'm doing the red in the bowl because the red is a much brighter color. And we do not want red getting all over the place. It looks like my slime is bleeding. Like really badly. So some parts are starting to turn orange. That's why you really need to mix it in because you don't really want a marble effect when you're making this. You want just like a good solid color. So I need a little bit more yellow. The yellow I find is really runny. So I made just a little dent in the middle of my slime to put the yellow into. Oh, come on, yellow. Why am I whispering? I don't know. <laughs> Here's my orange that doesn't really look like orange. Perfect. Now let me put the cap back on the red. I don't know what happened to the cap. Now for yellow, and we know that this color right here is yellow. Let me move some of these over. So I'm just gonna make one poke right in the middle and put the yellow into that because for some reason the yellow runs a bit. So that'll just make it so that it doesn't get all over the place. So we're making um, these colors really like, really, really like pale. It's pretty because the red came out pale so I thought I'll just make all the colors pale, it'll just be easy. Here we go, a nice light yellow. Now, a green, which we have the color of. I think just because there's red in the bowl, I'll just keep on poking it and then putting it in. I hope this don't makes it like a light green, not like a really forest green, since all of our other colors are pale. But this green is really bright, you guys. So it's bright in one spot because it didn't really 
mix yet, but it's turning into a nice light green, so I'm very happy about that. I need one more drop of this, but a tiny drop I'm going to do. I'm going to be very careful with this drop. There we have a nice light green. Next color we'll be using is blue. And I'm going to make a nice light blue, so just so that it doesn't get lost, I'll be using it on one of my bigger pieces. Because we don't want it to get lost in our rainbow. I would make giant slime for you guys, but I don't, really don't want to waste my glue because it was kind of expensive. Well, because it's a gallon. So, I don't think I'm going to make a giant slime anytime soon. But one day I will. I think this is a really nice blue color, so we'll put it there. Now the last color is the hardest to make, is purple. It's hard to make, it's really hard to make. So we'll be doing one drop of blue, one drop of red, just to start, and then if we need more colors. I, I'm kind of worried about this one because if we need to add more of one color, then it's going to make it brighter and all of the other. Yes, mommy? Okay, so I'll be, I'll be right back when this slime is all mixed. Alright, you guys, just for an update on this color, I'm really happy because it's turning out like a light purple, just like I wanted because all of the other colors are light. I was going to make these colors really bright, but the red never turned really bright, so I just thought I'll just make them light. Okay, now that all of our colors are ready, we're going to go ahead and we're going to stretch them and then mix them. So we'll stretch it. We're going to put them all next to each other. I want you guys to see this. That's really cool. And now it's time to mix them. So we're going to grab the top. It's really pretty. Now the colors are getting mixed. Oh, looks like this slime is pretty big. I'm really happy with the way that this rainbow slime is turning out because this is really big, it's really fluffy. But look at this swirl right now. I seriously want to like eat this or something. And now you can, oh, I thought you could see it. Anyway, okay, there. Poke it. This is really pretty. It's really stretchy. And my hands are messy. <laughs> that rhymed. I just realized that. Would be much better if we had glitter. But we don't and that's okay. This almost looks like a tie-dye shirt. 
Should we call this 60 slime? I think the name of this slime is going to be called 60 slime. Because in the 60s, it was like tie-dye and stuff. For the anniversary of my school, I think it was in first grade, yes it was, we had to dress up like it was the 60s because my school, um, my old school, school opened, was finished building in 62, opened in 63. And you guys look, I made a heart because I love you guys. Now I'm stretching my heart. I need a bigger heart so I can love more of you guys. I think this one came out really good. Now thumbs up for more awesome slimes, more awesome slime videos. Subscribe so that you'll get notified. Subscribe and click the bell so you get notified when more slime videos come out. And also, don't forget to comment down below what we should call this slime. I think we should call it 60s slime because it looks kind of tie dye. I think this came out really good because it almost looks like a purple and then it has the stripes of like every color in it and it looks kind of tie-dye so I think we should call it 60s slime but you guys should comment down below but what you think we should call it. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.